Hello, I'm Benjamin Beaver with Coldwell Banker, and I just want to talk to buyers for a second. I want to give you an idea of what to expect if you're buying a property in San Angelo. Now, everyone is already familiar that this is a, this is a different real estate market. Um, this is not your mama's real estate market anymore. No, that's stupid. Can we, can we cut that? The, the real estate market is, is different. It's, it's, uh, it's more of a seller's market this year. Uh, last year was more of a buyer's market. I'm still not sure if what we're seeing in the market is, is actually caused by the influx of people or if it's still just the anticipation of it, but regardless, it is here. And we're setting um, you know, records at the title company for the number of closings and the pace of business has sped up. So with that in mind, I just want to give you an idea of what to expect if you're wanting to buy a property in San Angelo in the near future. Um, first of all, be encouraged. There is still plenty of properties uh, on the market and there's still plenty of properties coming up for sale you know, every week and every month. Um, I would say more than last year because the better the market gets, the more incentive there is to sell. So there's plenty of properties that are, uh, have been for sale and will be for sale um, over the next few months but they're not lasting long. So that's why inventory is low because properties aren't sitting on the market very long. They're coming and they're going. So that means as a buyer, you need to go see some properties, get an idea of what you want. And when you see it, you need to be ready to act fast. And in most cases, if, it, if the property is priced fairly, um, we're seeing full price offers, uh, nothing less than a full price offer for a fairly priced property. Um, you know, we're not seeing many of those offers go through. Uh, low balling is totally out. I mean, that was last year. Um, low balling is not working anymore. And I'm talking, you know, generally for the majority of the market, um, if a property is priced fairly, it's going to go for at least full price, sometimes more if there's heavy competition. Now there's still people, and there always will be, who are trying to really just kind of swing for the fence and price their property above what it should be priced. So not everything is going for full price. And you need someone who has some knowledge of the market to tell you, hey, this is priced really well, or no, they're, they're really going for it here. You may not have to pay full price for this one. But you need to be ready to, you need to be ready to put an offer in quickly. Um, have someone set you up for automatic notifications of new listings, and the hour they hit the market, you'll get an email. And if it's what you want, um, I'd recommend putting in an offer and putting in a good offer. This whole thing about let's offer them this and see what they say, that's not working anymore. You need to try to buy it the first time. And now don't worry because every contract starts out with a seven to 10 day option period, which means if you get a contract and think, what have I done? You've still got 10 days to you know get the property inspected, uh, think about it, um, see if your feet are cold or if they're normal temperature and if you're ready to proceed we probably need to cut that also so you've got the property under contract you've got seven to ten days uh, to consider um, you know if you want to go through with it or not and uh, that's that's something good to know the option period know that you need to act quickly um, that lowballing is not working uh, you need to have someone set you up for these automatic notifications so that you don't miss out and there's still plenty of properties that are uh, coming up for sale that will be for sale so get some help I know a guy, and my contact information is at the end of this video. I hope that was helpful. Nailed it.